Hi guys, welcome back. Right, we had a parcel uh, from Boldy Locks yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Quite a large parcel, so we're gonna have a look what we got. I didn't. I had a quick look, but I didn't really take any of them out. So, so what we got. <coughs> Let's see if we can pick something, maybe. Okay, so we've got a challenge lock, pick me 1977, also a dimple, very nice, working key, uh, this one I did look at and this is the community challenge lock, um, Several people have put pins in it. Baldy Locks, Pickbeard, Steensy, Yukov, Pete 317, and Tensile Spider. UKRF Builders Union. One thing I did notice about this is that the key doesn't actually work. Keys don't work. So, before I try and pick this, I don't even know if it's just, <coughs> I assume the key should work, so I'll have to get advice on that from the, all the guys that put their pins in it. I don't know why it doesn't, the key doesn't work. But I shall be picking it at some point. All right, this is the ELS, this is the um, Lockwood challenge from if I'm not mistaken mechanic Dan this is a pass around whoever can pick it gets to keep it I think that is what it was I don't know if there was a time a time a time that you actually pick it in but I knew Baldy Locks didn't manage to pick it I think we get a week so Hopefully we can call this day one. This is Sunday, so I've got till next Sunday to try and pick it. A weird keyway, I can see pins either side. Don't know how many pins are in these things. Let's have a feel. A buy lock, is it called a buy lock? I think that's what they call them. I think there's five pins each side. Yeah, maybe five or six, and then there's an active element in the front there. So we'll be trying to pick that at some point, but not right this minute, because I probably have got no chance. What is this? A union, a union oval, a union rim. Very nice. Five, ten. Got here. A Yale, an old Yale. Screw in rim cylinder, no back on it, so I have to be careful when I pick that. I really sh shouldn't do out of packet picking. Really, should I? Because I mess the video up. Right. This is a wicked keyway in it whatever it is the key universal security it looks like looks, like looks a bit like a gg doesn't it wicked bit in wicked uh, wicked keyway and wicked bit in Deep two at the back, one, two, three, not so deep at the front. That would be quite hard to pick out the packet, I think. And then we have another challenge lock here. Another 
Pick Me 1977. Wow. Ooh. Uh, that key's not working either. That key. Right, so it wasn't going all the way in for some reason. Okay, we're up to five minutes. That's got a hang up on it. That feels got a hang up on it that way, so that feels a lot of naughtiness in there. Right, what should we try and pick? Um, I bought a new dimple set, so should we try and pick this dimple lock? I might go and bugger up the video now and not be able to pick it. You know, we'll give it five minutes. I normally give five minutes then, if I can't pick it within five minutes I give up. That'll only make the video ten minutes long and you'll see a fail. A failed pick on the dimple. So let's have a go anyway. Right, let's get, get it in. There we go. Find something to tension it with. That. Right, let's find a dimple pick. Uh, a left handed one. That one's got a bit of a curve to it, but we'll try that. Let's see if it'll fit. Might be a bit big. Yeah, it's too big. Maybe you need a right-handed one and go from the other side. Sorry guys, just trying to sort of pick out that it's going to fit without getting stuck. And uh, Right, let's try, let's try a flat hook. And normally these Chinese sets have got a flat hook with no... With no like, you see there, no lip on it. So, but it doesn't look like there is one in this set. I haven't really. Right. Anyway, okay. Let's try going down this side. Let's see if we can. Let's see if this will fit. Yeah, I can't even get that one in. Look. Try this smaller one that I cut down. If I can actually get a pick that will fit, that one won't fit. Might have to turn it upside down. Yeah, I can't get that one in. Let's turn the lock upside down in a minute so I've been messing about guys. Maybe I can fit it in that way. Might be a bit easier. Right, where's that small? Feeling an awful lot at the minute. Should I go in from this side? Nothing on one, nothing on two. Way. Oh, 
all feel springy at the minute. You can go ahead and click then on one or two. Click on one. Bit of movement on the core then. When I touch one again. Near the back, count rotation is that? Yeah, on four. Click right at the back. Don't know how many pins this has got. Felt that might felt like actually six. Another bit of movement there. Bit of movement down the front again. I think we're pretty close. There we go. We're open. Right, when I finally got a pick that fit properly, yeah, yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Should we open it? We're up to 10 minutes, 11 minutes, so we'll try and get this really quickly. I don't want to, the video to be 15, 20 minutes long. Right, so this, uh, oh, on my camera, like so. There you can see it is open, it was a, uh, so I'm gonna lock it up because I have a key. Get a screwdriver. What is it? Phillips. Oh yeah, Phillips. Phillips screwdriver. Which doesn't fit very well. But it will do the job. Turn this that way. Should be okay. There we go. Right, oh God, it was lit. it was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pin. It felt like there was a fair few pins in it, but I didn't think it was seven. Right, let's try and get get down a bit more for this camera and I haven't actually got seven spaces on my board <laughs> but never mind so, alright this is pin one is standard pin two is standard pin three that was three and four that's four five E standard six E standard and I'll have to put number seven just here seven E standard okay so standard seven standard pins uh, doesn't seem to be anything in the core no um serrations in the core so what we got in here we got a standard in one we got a spool in two that looks like a homemade spool actually try and keep the springs in there if I can three a mini spool very small. Four. 
that's homemade serrated pin now it's a serrated pin but why is it serrated if there's no serrations in the in the core so maybe there's serrations in the bible because i can see from the bit of crisp there right let's get the last one out they all right so they're all you have a like a modified spool it's like thicker on one end the other a very tiny spool a serrated pin standard 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 and one is standard so I'm guessing because this is um, you can see where the top's been taken off I'm guessing this Bible is uh, has been serrated uh, yeah it looks like it looks like it's got serrations in it yes maybe I think it has can't I can't See that spring's getting stuck so I imagine it's getting stuck because there's serrations in the Bible that spring is stuck in there he ain't coming out that is in pin in six four yeah but I think my eyes aren't that good but I would imagine there is threading in the Bible because you have serrations there's no thread in here so yeah that is the that was who was the who, who made this one pick pick me 1977 dimple lock picked and gutted a couple of springs still stuck in the bible which i can't get out all right, guys, that's a nice package, and I'll be having fun with these locks. See you later.